Hello painting peeps and welcome. It's Kathleen from Cause Creations. Welcome to the No Brawl Zone number three, guys. I am happy you're here. Somebody reached out to me um, this morning after my varnishing video, uh, a new painting peep, and said, Kathleen, let me ask you, what does the No Brawl Zone mean? <laughs> and I kind of laughed and... Uh, I told him, I said, uh, and it was a he, <laughs> at least I think it was a he. Um, I told him it just represents my happy place, a relaxed, unconfining, wonderful place to hang out. So if you, any of you are wondering what the no bra, z bra zone means to me, it is just that. And I am happy that you all have joined me here in my happy place. We're working on a big lady or a big fellow today. I haven't decided if it's going to be a he or a she. This is a 30 by 40 inch gallery wrap canvas and you guys are way <laughs> up there. Now, I haven't put my base coat down yet, but I'm going to, after we chat about our colors and how I mix them, we're going to be doing a swipe only because my table here is big enough, it's limited, we're working on a on a little art studio in the back of the house that I can call my own and I can slop paint all over the place without worrying about things. But Rick and I built this new home only a few months ago and uh, he wouldn't be very happy if I slop paint around on these floors or on these walls. So I'm gonna um, cover my base coat here, my canvas with our base coat in just a little while. but. Let's talk about our paints. This painting is going in our home. I have a, a really cool office space area. It's got a large wall behind the desk and I want something to hang there that's going to make me smile. So I am working in the colors that are in my home, which are uh, grayish and, and creams and blacks and charcoals. I know it sounds horrible, <laughs> but it's actually quite lovely. And when I hang this, if all goes well, I would certainly share a picture with you. But our base coat, we've got two base coats going down. One is Rust-Oleum Metallics in the Metallic White Pearl. I hope you can see that okay, guys. I'm way down here sitting on my little rolling stool. And right here is the uh, Rust-Oleum Metallic Pearl. It is mixed to a thin consistency. It leaves a little bit of a trace before the paint dissipates into the paint below. Our other base coat is yummy, yummy goodness. We are getting our deco art on, guys. Deco art sent me a big old box of paint and they're all my favorite colors. How they knew that, I don't know, but we are using them up today. Look at this yummy goodness, guys. This is not black. This is one of my new favorite colors, and this is called Obsidian um, Deco Art Americana Metallics, and it just makes me sing. <laughs> and you don't want to hear me sing. Deco Art Americana Obsidian. All the paints will be listed in the description box, guys, um, below. So those are our base coat. Now that obsidian almost has a marbleizing effect to it. So that's one of the reasons why I chose it as one of my base coats. Now, half this canvas is going to be dark with obsidian and half this canvas is going to be light with the rust-oleum pearl so i have two sections of uh swiping colors here we are going to use the darker swipe colors on the white side and we're going to use the lighter colors on the darker side did i say that right dark on the white base coat lighter on the dark base coat. Yeah, and I actually had to put names on all of these because after I started mixing, I got myself really confused. 
in this cup right here, guys. Plain, easy, breezy, and simple. Self-leveling, good paint, good price. Artist Loft Soft Body Acrylics. And that is their black. In this cup right here. Um, once again, this is on the white side. That is more of the base coat that's going to be on this side. That is the Deco Art Metallics Americana. And that is their Obsidian. This right here, yummy goodness. Thank you, Deco Art, for making such beautiful paints. I just wish they were in bigger containers. <laughs> right here, Deco Art Metallics, and that is their sterling silver. This paint rocks, guys. Right over here, another Deco Art paint. That is Deco Art Americana Matte Metallics, and that is their charcoal. Fun, fun paint in the matte leaves a nice effect, guys. So we're giving that a go. Right here on the darker side, this is, oh, be still my heart. That is Deco Art Americana Metallics, and that is their tin. Aren't these great colors, guys? Right here, yummy, yummy goodness, golden fluid acrylics in the iridescent silver. Right here is more of the Rust-Oleum Metallics in the Pearl with a little bit of the Golden Fluid in the Iridescent Pearl. We're just playing. Right here is a combination of the DecoArt Americanas and the Charcoal, and I added a little bit of Pearl to it. Now, all these paints are mixed a little bit different. Why? This is a fluid paint. It squeezes out of the bottle, kind of like uh, uh, what? A cream rinse or a hair conditioner. Nobody uses cream rinse anymore. A hair conditioner, just creamy, creamy goodness. This got absolutely no water in the cup because it's already fluid. And then we have this right here, DecoArt Metallics, and this is a medium body paint. This is their tin, so this got some water. Actually, it's not water. I keep in a container. Let me grab it. A container. This is 50% water, 50% Golden GAC 800. I love my GAC. I stick it in my water. Why? because I love my gag <laughs> and it does good things for me. Helps my paints from cracking or crazing and lots of other things, guys. So the medium body paints got a little bit of water and all of the medium body paints got different amounts of water. You gotta play with it, you gotta mix it, you gotta learn how your stir stick feels in your cup. You gotta learn what it's supposed to look like when it drops off of that popsicle stick. It leaves very little trace and dissipates below. Our pouring medium, my go-to pouring medium for my swipes, guys, is 50% Flood Floetrol, 50% Golden GAC 800. I stick about two and a half, two, I start off with two ounces of pouring medium, that mix in a cup, and I add about an ounce of paint with everything but the fluid paints, okay? Because the fluid paints pigments are so strong, guys, two to two and a half ounces of paint, and maybe a tablespoon of the fluid paint will give you three ounces of paint to use. I know, I'm probably making some of your heads spin. So, the fluid paints get absolutely no water with the 50% Floetrol, 50% Golden GAC 800. The medium body paints get water to help thin them down to the consistency of the fluid paints. Anyways, that's where we're doing. Oh, I promised I'll show you one more thing, guys. I did a varnishing video yesterday and people said, let me see it when it's dry and I promised to do just that. So let me grab that uh, lovely painting. Isn't that pretty? No resin. Look, you can see my fan above. This got one coat of golden isolation coat. Let it dry for 24 hours. 
Then it got three coats of Liquitex gloss varnish because the client wanted a shiny finish. So we're really pleased. This is going to get wrapped up and out into the mail tomorrow. So guys, I'm going to put some tunes on for you because I have just been a chatty Kathy. I apologize to those who are not interested in what I have to say. I will put a time stamp at the beginning of this video where you can go right to the painting process. So let's put some tunes on. Let's get busy, guys.